Hey, shalom, man, shalom, and stuff. It's always about giving no praise to you. About Shem, about Shai, about Shem, about Dash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS and honors to you brothers doing the work in truth. What well, sincerity. It's a quick one, you know. I'm away home from work, have my headphones in. You know, I'm um, just listening to music um, and whatever. And you, you know, when you know when you're in a, a quote unquote good mood, you know, you, you be vibing, you know. And I was just, you know, dancing in my mirror in that man. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know, and I was like, man, hey, we got to be thankful. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're Israelites, man. Imagine not being an Israelite. That's, that's what I'm gonna call this one. Imagine not being an Israelite. You know, things that we take for granted, like. Uh, simple things like just being able to walk normally, right? You you walk. I mean, yeah, I know if uh, you know brothers have seen how, how these gooks walk here. You know they have that awkward walk, and it, 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 Amalek Amalek has a hell of. I mean, I've seen you know this walk in a couple of Amalekites where they're kind of like falling over as they're walking, but they're not falling. That's just how they walk, and you know simple things of not having rhythm, right? Uh, uh, you know, these are all things just in a carnal sense, right? You know, because obviously the spiritual side of things is we are the chosen of the Lord, right? And, you know, we got next, right? Scripture says, Second Ezra 6 and 9, if the East was the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? You know, then that's uh, why, uh, uh, what would you call it? Uh, Esau, Jacob held the heel of Esau, right? As Second Ezra 6 goes into as well. Right, so that you know, there are, there are many joys of being an Israelite. Just like I said, just the simple things, man. Right, just you you know the creativity that Jake has, right? The you know the mental uh, fortitude that Jake has, the physical aspects that Jake has. Right now on this side, we ain't even in our full strength. But yeah, I know all brothers have got something that they just they're just cold at, man. They just you know they're just good at it, man. Right, would you call it in, 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 in this realm, right? So I'll read some scriptures, right? It's Matthew 5 and 13, right? Ye are the salt of the earth, right? And hey, if you try to cook some food without salt, you can have the pepper, you can have the paprika, right? The cumin seeds, the, the nigella seeds, right? You know, the uh, oregano, the thyme, you know, the lemon spice, the garlic, you can have all of that, right? But if you ain't got the salt, that's going to taste shit. Right, just like how in this world, you know, without Israel, everything would be shit. Right, look at look at sports without Jake. Right, look at entertainment without Jake. Right, and hey, let, let's not get into the workplace without Jake. Right, because hey, you, you work around these Edomites, you see, they make some dumbass decisions, man. Right, and then Jake will come along, and Jake will be like, oh, why don't you do it this way instead? And they'll hate at him, but then they'll be like, you know what? And they might not listen to him for two years, and then they'll be like, you know what, let's implement what this Jake said. And then when they implement it and it works, guess what? They take the credit for it, right? Uh, it says, uh, but if the salt has to have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of men, right? So, yeah, you, you know, and that's, that's, the, that's where Israel is at, man, right now, Right? But, uh, but yeah, we, we, we the salt of the earth, man. Right? This is Deuteronomy 6 and 7 and 6. Right? It says, For thou art unholy people unto you, how are thy power? Right? And that's, that's, that's the best thing about being a Jake. Right? That, we, you know, the Lord has chosen us unto himself. Right? Uh, scriptures talk about all these people that uh, the Lord hath so nigh unto. Let me look for that real quick. Open a new tab. Uh, if you bear with me, Baba Kishar. Uh, no, brothers, uh, we just call it. We just watching the video. Go, yo, it's this scripture. Huh? Uh, I can't think. Yeah, I can't. I can't find it. I can't find it. But you know that. You know, you you hear the point, man. Right, we're we're nigh on to the Lord. Right, this is uh, so I'll carry on. It says, Yahweh, thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, right? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, the children of Israel, they're above everyone, right? You know, when these people walk past us, they're really walking past their future rulers, man, 
right? Starting off with the, you know, with the elect, right? This is Revelations 2, I'm going to start from 25, it says, But that which you have already hold fast, so come, what do we have? We have this, this truth and this knowledge, right? Because scriptures is all about enduring unto the end, right? You know, it, 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 you know, if you participate and you and you leave, scripture says you shall be beaten with double stripes, right? It says, uh, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, right? These heathen nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, right? So one of the rewards is to rule over these heathen nations, right? So like I said. You know, when you go and pass, you know, your you, you boss, if he's a heathen, right? You know, the, the curry shop owner, if he's a heathen, right? You know, and all of these different heathens, you're their future ruler. And that is one of the great things about being in Israel. Also read, you know, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, right? That goes into that as well, right? This is Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou unholy people unto how thy power, and how hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, Above all nations that are upon the earth, right? So chosen to the Lord, right? You know, Yahweh Power, the creator of all things on earth, has chosen us, right? But who are we, <laughs> right? Jacob, thy worm, right? And that's that's why it's a low condition that we're in at the moment is so, uh, is 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 so I can't, you know, the word escapes me. Right, because here it is, Israel is supposed to be the, you know, the rulers of the earth. But we're at the bottom, right? This is Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. It says, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Right, who's a servant right now? Well, <laughs> who's, who, who's, who's a servant walking on horses right now? Let me put it like that. Right, because if it ain't Israel, then they're servants, period. Right? Says I've uh, and the servant is Esau, the so called white man rulership right now, and but that's for you know for a short time, right? It says and princes, right? Yasha Allah, he prince power, right? He is the son of God, right? So Israel walking as servants upon the earth, right? That's so when you read, um, was in Jeremiah, is Israel a slave? Is he a home born servant? Why is he spoiled, right? Because right now we're servants. Right, but we, you know, we, we, we're here because we fucked up, right? The Lord made, you know, we, we made a covenant with the Lord and we broke it. We broke the contract, right? So now we're paying the punishment, but the Lord had mercy on us, right? And he knew we was going to go off, and that's why he made it such that we, uh, uh, what do you call it? That, uh, uh, you know, that's why, we, you know, this, this has played out the way it has, because it was designed to... Right from the very beginning, which is what yeah I said yeah, which is why he made uh, Yahweh shy, right? You know, because through him we're we're able to get back on board, right? This is wisdom five and three, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. And yeah, that's why it's going to be amazing, right? One of the reasons why it's going to be amazing during this salvation. Right, because for the most part, if not for all the part that you know the people on the planet Earth right now have been alive, they just looked at you know the people on this side, the Native Americans, the Negroes, Hispanics, right, and you know the, the men scattered abroad, right, just as 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 their bywords, nothing more. Oh, you just a nigger, you just a spick, right, or whatever, what have you, right. But then they're gonna see, look, man, now nah, <laughs> these are the these are the what well, goes on to say. Let me read it. It says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honour. Yeah, they don't think Jake can amount to anything, right? But then they go and ask themselves this. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot is among the saints, right? So now they, they go, you know, when Israel's back in its uh, glorious state, when the Lord uh, shows himself again, right? The Lord shows himself again And you know Then they're also going to be saying As soon as Isaiah 45 Surely thou art part Thou hidest thyself Because here it is The Lord's literally got gods Walking upon the earth As men Right Let me get that uh, Psalms uh, 62 and 8 8 where am I? What is this? What do I want? 
82 and 6 are lucky. I'm getting old, lucky. <laughs> 82 and 6. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Right, so hey, we we are we are gods, right? But in this in this world in this body right now, you know we ain't shit. We're at the bottom, when right? we ain't got this. You know we we haven't been a, uh, you know, given them souped up bodies, right? But that's that's all of the you know that's one of the another great thing about being an Israelite, right? We gonna have them souped up bodies in the kingdom and them spiritual bodies, right? Esau likes to show you his 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 you know his theatrics his, um. You know, his Captain Marvels, his, his Captain Americas or whatever, his Tony Starks, right? All of the things that he envisions, oh, the X-Men, for instance, all the things he envisions that he would do, but can't. <laughs> we gonna be able to do it. Fly, what's this fly? That's nothing, right? And that those that's one of the things promised to the children of Israel, right? And this ultimately is, you know, on this side, you know, a, a, a bit of respite for for those amongst the children of Israel that will make it because ultimately all Israel shall be saved right you know those that don't make it um you know in, in this destruction which we ain't part of weren't trying to be a part of the destruction we're trying to be saved out of it right as so Romans eleven twenty six, and so Israel shall be all Israel shall be saved as it is written they shall come out of Zion the deliverer that and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob Right, so yeah, ultimately all Israel is going to be saved, going to come back in the kingdom, those that don't make it, this side, right, they're going to come back in the kingdom and, you know, they, you know, they're going to feel away for a bit, but then, you know, uh, pursuing to uh, Daniel's, right, some wake up to everlasting shame, some to everlasting contempt, right, you know, but after, you know, after a period of time, you know, but, uh, but yeah, I said, I just want to share that with brothers, you know, I said, came home, and I was like, man, imagine, imagine not being an Israelite, man, imagine that, right, so Lord's we've been there to find until the next time I'm going to say, Shalom.